think I'm recording. I hope I'm recording. <laughs> I'm recording. OK, so I want to talk to you guys a little bit about your introduction and speech assignment. So I'm going to tell you a few things and then I'm going to turn to awkwardly write a few things to you guys. Um, so this is going to be your first speech. It is going to be two to three minutes in length. And it is going to have to fit into a few um, one of these criteria. So it needs to be you comparing your life to it being some like something. So um, your life is like in the example we've got um, a three ring circus. Uh, your life could be like mine and it's more like a cat um, box where they go to go to the bathroom. Um, maybe your life is super shiny and sparkly, um, whatever it is. Um, it could be a memorable moment, some moment in your life, not your entire life. You cannot explain your entire life to us in two to three minutes. So um, it needs to be a moment. So something special that stands out to you that you want to share. Um, please don't overshare. We don't know you and we are still judging you. So please don't tell us about any kind of like times that you spent in jail, um, any kind of illegal activity that you um, did, were engaged in or got off of. Um, so don't make us scared of you. And um, kind of those should be the things that you are looking to kind of shape this um, speech around. Uh, you will want to start with a clear introduction uh, that will grab your attention, your audience's attention. So think about in books um, or in things that you read, there's usually some kind of um, hook that pulls the reader in um, that makes you want to read some more. So, um, oh my God, these books are not going to work. These are the kind of books that, these are academic books. These are not going to like, this has got, this is a bad example. Another day, another corporate cafeteria. Yeah, nobody wants, mm, don't want to read past that. Um, not a good hook. Let's see how we do with this one. Another day, another cafeteria. Please don't do that. I bet you didn't know that bleach mask the smell of blood. First sentence, I promise, right here. First sentence, yeah, I wanna read. I wanna know how you know that, why you know that, why are you telling me that? So think about what's going to hook your audience, some kind of attention getter. Um, so you've got your introduction, that contains that attention getter. You've got your body, which is that story that you're sharing with your audience. And then you've got a conclusion that is kind of like wrapping up and reminding us what you just told us. And you're doing that all in two to three minutes. So um, it's very clear. It's concise. You do not tell us your name. You don't say hello. I'm Christy and I want to tell you about the time that I fell out of a tree. Um, don't do that. Don't remind us and say like, that's all I have to say. And n none of that don't we know when you're done. Um, so we're in a global pandemic and typically you need to have an audience in front of you for this. Forget about that. Don't put your life at risk to have potential strangers in front of you that could be sick, that could make you sick. Just Put a camera up, put your phone up, prop it up, whatever, and record your speech. 
two to three minutes. Please don't edit it. Um, sometimes I can tell that you've edited it. Um, I need like just a two to three minutes of your speech. I'm going to be looking for, did you have the parts, the introduction, body, conclusion, attention getter? Did you have a clear conclusion that reminded us of how you started your speech? And um, then also your deliverables. Like, did you look up? Did you read from your notes the entire time? Could I tell that you seemed forced to give this speech? Um, those kind of things. So act like you want to do this for two to three minutes. Um, even if it's the last thing that you want to do, just fake it. It's OK. Um, we've all been there before. And um, there is not a certain attire that you have to wear. Please be dressed. I would prefer no obvious pajamas, but um, do the best that you can with what you're working with. Um, please, before you submit it, check your video. I understand sometimes it's like sideways and sometimes it's upside down and you're like, I don't know how that happened. That's fine. I can figure that part out, but make sure that you can be heard on your video. Um, so listen to your video, make sure your video is clear um, because sometimes, you know, like if I was shooting from the other direction, it's really bright over here um, and you might not be able to see my face. So um, look at things like that uh, before you actually hit submit. And if you have questions, let me know. You don't necessarily have to have a podium. If you feel like you need to have something in front of you, I've seen students make stacks of books. I've seen students use like a coffee table. I've seen them use a music stand. I've seen all kinds of things become like a podium like item. Um, but use your notes. Just don't read from your notes so you can reference them, but don't have them up here. Um, I think that that should get you on the right track. So just a few reminders. Hopefully. Hopefully this works. Uh, we want to have that. Three parts. You want your intro. You see that kind of um, your body. And your conclusion. The intro has the attention getter. You guys are stressing me out with all your questions. ATT. Here, we're just going to abbreviate it. AG. You're making me nervous. So, this is your story. And this is your reminder. If you contain all of that. And you can look up at us. Um, you should be on the right track. So if you have any other questions or concerns, let me know.